If I was given 11 million today, what would I do with it? First of all, I'd take it to the bank. Not to leave it there, but see, can I borrow more against it? Can I go with a business plan? Can I leverage this 11 million? Because if I want to do a trading, I do my homework and I want to do some trading. Let's say I'm going to go to Dubai to buy goods and sell. What is the markup? Markup is maybe 20%. What are my costs? My ticket? How much can I bring? Is it coming in cargo? Am I carrying the goods? That's my capital, 11 million. But I want them to lend me 10 million or 11 million too. So that I can go away with 20 million. Then I've got a bigger pool of capital. Then I trade. Trading is the easiest way to make the capital grow. And if you're trading, buying and selling, and you're ready to do the work. I mean, I've seen people begin with 2 million shillings. That's less than $1,000, $500. They go to Dubai. They come back and they make $200 profit. After all their costs, the ticket and expenditure. But they've learned. They've opened their eyes. Now they've still got their capital. And now it is $700. Uh, then they go back. And then the 700 becomes $1,000. They separate capital from profit. The capital has grown. You, you invest just a little bit in your, because uh, your expenses are there, you keep reinvesting your, your profits to keep it growing. You do that a few times, that money is $5,000. I've seen people begin with hardly anything. As you begin, you're building a track record with your supply of goods. You're building a network of buyers on this side that you're honest, you're reliable. They can depend on you. They can give you deposits in advance. Also, your supplier can probably give you credit because now you're buying regularly. So when you buy goods worth 10 million, they'll give you goods worth 15 million because they know you're going to come back. You're not going to run away. That's how business is built. It's about relationships, not just the 11 million. So you've got this 11 million because of a relationship from somebody has given you, they trusted you with 11 million. That's a huge start, upstart. Many of the youth today don't get that. But if you get that capital, begin by trading. That's the easiest way. If you can't go as far as Dubai, begin from Chikubo. Go downtown, buy something in downtown, and sell it. Where you buy from wholesale, retail. Buy it from Busia near the border of Kenya and Uganda, and bring it if there's a difference in the gap. All these things come out of your research, your homework. Where you see a gap, fulfill the need. Block that gap. If you want to buy from Kampala and take to the border of Congo, don't have to risk to go into Congo. It's too risky maybe for you to go and trade there. Stop at Arua. Many people are doing that. What do the people want in the refugee camps? They want even bottled water. And they're paying for it. But the difference in the price between here and there is about your day's work. You run up, down, up and down every day, taking some goods, bring them back. and uh, That's how business is about. So trading is the easiest way to start in business. It sharpens your skills because you've got to sell the commodity. You've got to communicate. You've got to negotiate with your, who's supplying you. So you, you develop the skills of trade. Then you can look at bigger projects in the future. But if you've got that kind of capital, I advise you to start by trading. The simplest people with no education, have been trading. First they began in Kampala, they went to Dubai, now they go to China. After trading for some time in China, they are now setting up their own industries. I don't have, uh, I don't have any doubt that anybody, anybody can excel if you remain focused. You, you, you don't need to be beyond P7, though it's an advantage to be at S4, a big advantage to have done A-level, a big advantage to have a degree. But the guys who are very successful in Chikubo, many of them stop at P7, and they live in mansions. They have a lifestyle that is respectable. They have discipline. They know what's working capital, and they know what's profit. And they make money grow. They don't do a deal unless they're going to make a profit. What's in it for them, they ask. So you don't need to be a rocket scientist. And at times you study too much, and going to too many schools, there's no, 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 no ability to stomach risk in you left. And that ability to process that risk, to take it in and then breathe out, is what you need.